Hello everybody, this is Mark with Pelican Wooden Things. Today we're going to be making a kit project of measuring cups with... Uh, please note that part right there. It is broken off of the one cup measuring cup. Not being familiar with the kit, I did not realize it was broken until a bit later. But overall a very nice kit. We're going to be using olive wood from the Holy Land as part of the handle. I just love the grain on the olive wood. So the first thing you do is make sure the blanks are the right length and drill out a hole in the center to uh, put the brass tube. So mark out the center. Do that on all the pieces. And drill it out with the appropriately sized drill bit. Seven millimeter, I believe. But you know, the kit comes with instructions, so you just do whatever it says. Now, so happens these blanks are a little bit longer than the throw of my drill press. So I've got to manually get that last little bit. If you do this, make sure, extra sure, that your hand is not on the bottom of the blank. And proceed to drill out all four of them. Scuff the brass tubes a bit so the glue will adhere better. and glue them in with a little five minute epoxy. Spread the glue well. I try to twist it a little bit as I'm putting it in there to make sure glue gets on uh, at least a good portion of the surface of the wood inside the hole. I take it over to the uh, disc sander and you grind it down until just, just the tip of the brass tube inside begins to show. For this project, I just found some pin mandrels that were about the right size, or uh, excuse me, pin bushings that were about the right size, and put it on a mandrel, and so it will be held in the chuck. It's an adjustable mandrel. It goes longer or shorter depending on the size of the blank that you have to turn. That yeah, looks about right. Tighten it up. And you have a custom sized mandrel. Now I was considering all of the shapes that I could put into this. I can make it really fancy, put a lot of coves and roundovers and all sorts of funky stuff in there but in the end this is a, a practical item you know a kitchen tool and it has to be able to be functional so I thought form follows function in this and I'll just put a little bit of decoration on the end and it'll be easily repeatable and I'll have a nice set when I'm done so I put one round over and one I can't remember the name of it, the pointy thing <laughs> I'm sure there's a better name for it, but I can't think of what it is right now. So, you just quickly go through all four pieces. Shaping, sanding, a little walnut oil to seal it in. 
definitely food safe. Rinse and repeat. Now, if you're thinking about doing wood turning or any other art for that matter, remember that form follows function is quite often the most beautiful way of doing things. You don't have to invent the wheel every time, just work on your skill set. Do the best you can, and it'll be beautiful. Now, this was my first time working with olive wood. I um, noticed when I was working with it, it had a distinctive smell, but not a bad smell, not at all, but uh, definitely different than, say, pine or walnut or any other wood I had previously worked with. And I had this weird feeling uh, when I was working with it. I was raised in the church and I thought, oh my goodness, this is a smell Jesus was probably familiar with and that just kind of tripped me out a little bit. This wood does come from Bethlehem, so definitely, definitely was something probably Jesus was familiar with. Put the insert in, a threaded insert. You have to uh, put it in with a little indentation inside first so it slides in a little bit easier. I happen to use this wood word worker's vise. There's also pin vices and other uh, methods of getting these in, but this is my preferred method. The longer pieces are a little bit tricky, they tend to push off center as you try to press them in but eventually you just work it a little bit at a time and you get there I had this project was delayed by oh, a couple of weeks because at first I tried to get in touch with the company that uh, sold me this and their phone number was continuously not responsive so I had to email eventually they kindly sent me a extra one measuring cup cup and there it is but yeah I had to wait for for response from the email and then shipping and then all that other stuff so it took a couple of weeks to get through this day project but uh, hey that's how things go and in the end looks like I had a beautiful set of cups I hope you enjoyed watching this I enjoyed making it like share etc etc and uh Thank you so much for watching.